Are you ready? You don't look really enthused about it. You don't. Most supervisors don't. All right. Hey, welcome back to the Gardening Rebel channel. And today we're going to go out and check on. We've already been out here planting some watermelons this morning. Uh, about 20 hills. Didn't really want to go over that again. I've done it in previous videos. But we're going to do an update on the squash plants. Hey, and see how they're doing. We haven't had any rain. We planted them last, uh, I want to say last Monday. This is Saturday, the 16th of May, I do believe. I'd have to look at the phone and it's turned around backwards. And I thought she was coming with me, but she's not. She does not like the sunshine. Most mastiffs don't. But anyhow, let's get back around here and see what we got. Ooh, spinning around here. Now, we're not doing everything with garden tillers this year because uh, we just had too big of a garden. So we have actually started using, that's to excuse the pull pumps. We set that up every year for the grandkids. We've actually started using a tractor this year. So let's go down through here and check out some of our squash plants. <clears throat> All right. So let's check back on the squash and... Uh, I had it stop for a minute and take care of some business. But let's go right through here. All right, we've got uh, zucchini coming up, breaking the ground. Not in this hill. And I'm always in the shadow. I'm so sorry for that. But they're starting to come up. About six days worth of growth right here. Zucchini are breaking the ground first. So that's normally the way it goes. Uh, zucchini are very, very... Uh, easy to get growing they're a very easy plant to grow if you're a first-time gardener no activity on these hills we've got some breaking right here that does not look like a very healthy plant does it then we got some breaking the ground right there and it goes on down through here now the fertilizer is mixed all in with the dirt so by the time their root system gets going, that fertilizer will have dissolved all through this mound and just be kind of laying dormant. It'll lose some of its potency, I'm sure. But when those root systems hit it, it'll give it a kind of a boost. So I've got to be out here and I've got to water like I have with the tomato plants last night. And uh, let me grab this weed while I'm here. I got a honeybee flying around me. And I wouldn't know where it came from, would you? Beehives everywhere around here. But uh, let me show you something that kind of messes a lot of people up. I know it does me sometimes because uh, I keep a notebook on every row. How many hills of what I planted. My father does it. And so he'll come up to my garden. He'll say, okay, what you got in this garden right, or this row right here? And I'll say, well, we got 20 hills of... Uh, Black Beauty Zucchini, I've got four hills of Market Fresh, I've got ten hills of Crookneck Squash, I've got five hills of Butternut Squash, and I've got Scallop Squash. And he'll say, okay, great. And he'll walk down through here, and he'll see this outside of a hill. There's your hill. There's your plant. There's your hill. There's your heel, and here's plants all around your heel. <clears throat> the problem is we grew squash, I'm sorry, in this area last year. And like every American family that gardens, we uh, failed to pick everything. And some of it got hard and we just kind of left it out here and it got cut up whenever we started plowing the gardens up. So now, I'm thinking we had crookneck or zucchini plant in this area, but it could be anything. Somebody could have threw a piece of squash over here from another row. So now we have got uh, what we call volunteer plants coming up. So we do not know what breed they are. We don't know what they are, but they're beautiful plants. And I'm going to leave them for right now. 
some people would say, why don't you transplant them? And I'm just like, nah, that don't, I can never get anything done with transplanting. And we got some activity on this hill, and it is butternut squash. Now, I told you I leave a, I have a notebook. Well, the thing about it is, is I leave my seed packs out by the hill where I start. Where the transition changes, I bring it up. Then when I see that these plants are going to make it and germinate, I'll come out here and I'll pick these up and uh, clean them up out of the garden and dispose of them. But so far, so good. One week worth of growth. And I really don't know how many hills I have. I'll be honest with you. Got one, two, three. Forty-six, forty-seven hills of squash and zucchini, different varieties. And then of course we got a row of cucumbers that we planted uh, earlier this week. That's the same thing. But other than that, everything is going peachy. Uh, temperature staying pretty low for this time of year. It's averaging right around 75 degrees. So that's good. Went to the grocery store yesterday and I could see from our local grocery store, which is a small town, it's a very small town market, that they had limited the size or the purchase sizes of certain products like beef, chicken, pork, vegetables or will be next. So I'm telling you, uh, if you can grow something, you better get to growing it because it's coming. Uh, with the shutdown, the process and plants, what you get in the grocery store is not going to be properly sanitized. It's not, so if you do buy something from the grocery store, make sure you wash it really good because they're not, they're going to be in a rush to make that green back. And they're just going to throw it out there on the truck and send it to you. So tomatoes look good really really good i'm very happy these are better boys but i'm rambling i'm getting off track about the squash so that's this week's video on our squash next week we'll do a video on the tomatoes or maybe this week depending on the time frame i got we can do one on the cucumbers and we can also do one on the beans and the trellis that i'm setting up but right now we are in the process of planting watermelon <clears throat> and if you want to know how to plant watermelon i have videos of how we do it got my bucket of fertilizer and we're just going halfway down through the garden with watermelon cantaloupe i got another row of watermelon to put out one row of cantaloupes and then uh, the rest of this is going to be corn and sweet potatoes so until the next video, you know, give us a like, hit subscribe, leave us a comment, whether it's good or bad, just don't use the profane language. Uh, there are some very sensitive people that watch my videos, and I'm not calling them sensitive for that, they just don't like that language. And to be honest with you, I really don't like it either, because I'm not making you watch it, you're the one that clicked the button, so if you don't like it, uh, don't click it again is all I got to tell you. So, for the Gardener Rebel and the local ambulance service, I'll see you next time. Happy garden. Have a great week.